Okay, here we go with part two of the crazy rice recipe and video. Um, potatoes and stuff are done cooking. It's got a little char on it. I know some, some people probably don't like that, but I, I think it actually adds flavor, good flavor to um, your recipe. So, got that all done. Gonna put that in the pot. that in there got my rice done cooking so we're gonna put that in there oh it's a little bit hot um, okay we got that in there and uh Let's see, let's mix it up. I use a big ass spoon to mix everything up. Just kind of go from the bottom of the pot and bring the stuff up to the top and mix it up really good. And this stuff is, it's a little bit watery and mushy when you first make it, but after it's sat in the, in the pot in the refrigerator for a while, it kind of firms up and not so mushy and watery. So don't if it that don't worry about that. Actually, it's preferable to have it be that way to start with because if it's not that way, it's, and it sits in the refrigerator for a couple of days, it gets really dry and it's not so great that way. So you want it to be a little bit moist and mushy when you first make it. No, this th this is just like a base um, recipe for for this. I I made this recipe up myself, kind of as something that I made from just stuff that I had laying around the the kitchen and in the fridge when we didn't have much food. So that's how this originated. It's kind of like a mishmash of stuff, but. It's really good and you can like you don't have to make it exactly like I just did you can you can omit whatever you want or add whatever you want and usually it, it turns out pretty good so it's just this is just kind of the basic idea of it in my opinion also I have something to say about about cooking and food in general it's, to me if a person is a good cook and cares about what they're doing, it's kind of a, an art form to me. I, I, I see it as being just as much of an art as like painting or sculpting or whatever kind of art you're into. Uh, it's a, it's a, 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 a great thing. And, and in my opinion, uh, cooking and f making food goes beyond stuff like art and music and that it's like one of the basic things of life and uh some people might take it for granted when they they cook for their family and friends and and take care of them every day it's almost like just this some people might even look at it as a burden or drudgery or whatever but i don't think you should ever look at it that way because um Making food and sharing it with people, with your family and friends, is uh, basically you're 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 looking after the basic needs of another person. And to me, that's one of the most honorable things a person could do. So keep that in mind. One of the things that I I kind of been doing with my cooking lately is putting this. Tony Cesare's Creole seasoning and stuff. It's just kind of an option, but it's something that's pretty good. You might want to try it if you haven't tried it before. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Not too much, just a little bit.
so that's it for the for the crazy rice recipe and remember food is love